sciatic nerve block, gluteal approach. Indications. Anesthesia and post-op analgesia of the posterior thigh, leg, and foot. Foot and ankle surgery. As part of the blocks for above the knee amputation. Below the knee amputation. Post-op analgesia of the knee for posterior compartment pain. Relevant anatomy. The sciatic nerve originates from the lumbar plexus L4 to S3. In the gluteal area, after emerging from under the piriformis muscle, the sciatic nerve is located between the greater trochanter and the ischial tuberosity and under the cover of the gluteus maximus. Positioning. Lateral decubitus or in Sims position with hip and knee flexed. Local anesthetic and volume. Apply 20 to 30 milliliters of local anesthetic. For surgical anesthesia, lidocaine or mepivacaine would suffice. For longer procedures, a long-acting local anesthetic like mepivacaine or bupivacaine would be indicated. Ultrasound technique, low frequency curved probe. The probe is placed across the mid-gluteal area to identify the acoustic shadows of the greater trochanter and ischial tuberosity. The nerve is identified as a flat honeycomb structure located between the two shadows and on top of the quadratus femoris muscle. Needle can be inserted in plane from either side, but most frequently out of plane, shorter trajectory. With the probe in the medgluial region, the sciatic nerve is observed between the greater trochanter and ischial tuberosity. The easiest approach is to introduce the needle out of plane, passing through the gluteus muscle into the surface of the sciatic nerve. Side effects and complications. Vascular puncture, hematoma, block failure, intravascular injection, local anesthetic toxicity, sciatic nerve injury. For further information, see suggested reading. Thank you for your attention.